So what we want to be able to do is write down the equation of a plane in a Cartesian form. Okay? And I'm going to show you how to derive that in the next video. However, because um, it's always useful to see that they are equivalent forms, that we're not just pulling these things out of a hat, um, what I'm going to do in this video is show you how you can go from the vector equation of a plane, which I'm using the uh, version, uh, the equation of the plane that we got from the previous video. Um, I'm going to show you how to get from that to the Cartesian form. Now, this is an extension video only, so you won't have to do this in the exam. But I'm just going to show you how we can get from one to the other. So, first of all, I'm going to write down the equation of the plane into the three equations, the top, middle, and bottom. Okay? So we've got x is equal to 2 plus 3 lambda minus 8 mu. We've got y is equal to 0 plus 7 lambda uh, plus 2 mu. We've also got z is equal to 1 plus 8 lambda uh, plus 9 mu. Okay. Now, what you want to do at this stage is to then, because what we want to do is we want to get rid of all the lambdas and mu's. So the way to do that is to focus on two of the equations and eliminate either the lambda or the mu as best you can. So I'm looking at uh, x and y here because that will allow me to eliminate the mu's. Because what I could do is I could do x plus 4 lots of y. Okay, So if I do that equation plus 4 lots of that one, that will get rid of the mu's for me. So I've got 2 plus 4 lots, 4 lots of 0. I've got 3 lambda plus 4 lots of 7 lambda. So 4 7s are 28. So we're going to get 31 lambda. And we've got minus 8 mu plus 4 lots of 2 mu, which is 0. So that gives me this equation here. That then allows me to rearrange this okay, to get it in terms of lambda. So I can rewrite this as lambda equals x plus 4y, take away 2, and then divide it all by 31. OK? OK, so now we've got lambda. What I want to do now is to rearrange one of these to get mu equals. Because effectively, what I want to do is I want to substitute into this third equation, the one that I haven't used. I've got a replacement for lambda, which has no lambdas or mu's in it. That's fine. But I've got this mu here. Okay, So I'm going to need a replacement for that. So if I look at this equation here for y, then y equals 0, or just 7 lambda, plus 2 mu. So I can rearrange that to get mu equals y minus 7 lambda over 2. Now, that has this lambda in it that I want to replace with this lambda here. OK? So mu is equal to, uh, let's have the half out the front, y take away 7 lots of this. So 7x plus 28y take away 14 all over 31. OK? Now, I want to simplify this because it's abs looking absolutely horrible at the moment. OK? So we're going to have this minus 7x over 31 times a 1 half. So we've got minus 7 over 62x. We've got the 28y over 31. OK, so 28 over 31 that's there. But that's being taken away. So 1, take away that. And then you want half of that. So that's 3 over 62, so plus 3 over 62y. And then we've got this constant term straight on the end. We've got minus, minus, so we've got 14 over 31, and half of that is 7 over 31. 
So that is what mu is equal to. We can now substitute everything into that third equation, this one here. Okay, so z is equal to 1 plus 8 lots of lambda, which was the x plus 4y minus 2 over 31, plus 9 lots of mu, which is this, this minus 7 over 62x plus 3 over 62y plus 7 over 31. Okay. And we now want to multiply all this out um, and rearrange it, really. So what have we got? We've got 1 plus, we're going to have 8 over 31x plus uh, 8 lots of 4, so 32 over 31y. We've got minus 16 over 31 plus... Uh, 9 sevens over 62, so 63 over 62, so minus 63 over 62x. We've got 9 lots of 3 over 62, so 27 over 62. And then we've got 9 lots of 7 over 31, so 63 over 31. Okay, so I want to simplify this. So we've got z equals, we've got 1, uh, take away 16 over 31, plus 63 over 31, gets me 78 over 31. We've got um, 8 over 31 for x, take away 63 over 62, so minus 47 over 62 x and then for the y's we've got 32 over 31 uh, plus 27 over 62 so 91 over 62 y and so finally we want to move everything onto the left hand side so we've got 47 over 62 x we've got minus 91 over 62 y uh, we've got the z, and then we've got the minus 78 over 31 equals 0. Now, to aid things here, I would probably multiply everything by 62, because at, it, at its current form, it's looking absolutely horrendous. So, multiplying through by 62, we get 47x, uh, take away 91y, plus 62z, um, take away 156 is 0. Okay, And that would be the equation of the plane in Cartesian form. So you can see you can go from a vector form down to the Cartesian form, but it's absolutely messy. Okay, um, And it's, this is really like an extension to really see that it can be done, uh, but really... It's not a good way of doing it, okay? So there are ways of going about it with uh, further techniques um, that will speed up this process a great deal, but we're not going to be able to learn them, I'm afraid, uh, not at this stage anyway. So this is um, the algebraic way that you could go about doing it.